We're having a nice evening. Oh, poor sweet Arcadius. You were having a nice evening. Because with what I've got planned for today, you might never have another nice evening, my friend. Because today, the work begins on the 8th sin. By which I mean I'm going to pull everybody's arms and legs off and stitch them together into a new person. Hello. Welcome to RimWorld. Today in RimWorld, we're doing some very, very sensible things. Robo Mummy is going to get the hospital of her dreams where she can mutilate and hack till her heart's content. She doesn't have a heart, though. She's a robot. She will never be content. Fat Larry is going to hang up his chef's hat and instead he's going to don the finest of wizard garbs because he's going from chef to mage. Although I'm not really sure what classes we've got. I think they're all about summoning demons because we're in hell. Oh my god. Hell's Kitchen. Why didn't I think of that? I mean, obviously, I just did, but that's <laughs> that's not the point. And then good little General Joe we're going to have as the leader of a new cult. The previous cult we found at the very beginning of yesterday was disbanded because we had to spend all day basically cowering indoors, hiding from the Inferno. But now I'm going to have General Joe kickstart a whole new cult dedicated to the worship of whichever one of the Dryad Gods it happens to be. So enjoy your final evening together, my little sins, because... Your limbs are about to go flying. And as a side activity, I know I said this yesterday, I would really, really love to get a multi-analyzer at some point during this entire series. So to recap, to create our human, we need 40 human meat, 40 human leather, two legs, two arms, a spine, a stomach, a brain, a heart, two lungs, two kidneys, one liver, two eyeballs, a nose, two ears, one jaw, five medicine, and 50 bone. That means at the very minimum, someone's going to have to get butchered. We will obviously not do it to any of our current colonists, but we may have to go out in caravan and capture someone to be butchered to use as the, the foundations for our new human. We also do need quite a fair amount of organs here that will kill someone when we harvest them, the spine, the brain, the heart, etc. So we are going to have to pick our celestial to die and eventually be resurrected. If we could pick the organs based on how relevant they are. So for example, taking Legally's brain to give to the eighth sin would be very big brain. Maybe something like Arcadius' heart because he is the sin of lust and he's got a lot of love to give. I suppose a lot of lust aren't really the same thing, but it's as close as I've got. Maybe General Joe's spine as well because he isn't a coward. I don't really know. We'll do something like that anyway. So to help keep track of the shopping list of organs that we need, I've thrown together a... I, I mean, Robo Mummy has thrown together a little list for us. This way we can just cross them off as we go rather than trying to keep track of whatever is in the freezer, especially because Fat Larry might take some of these organs and turn them into walls. So our first issue is that we don't have any medicine. And without medicine... I'll admit, I'm not speaking from experience here. I assume it's probably quite difficult to glue together different organs. Now, we do have... I think it's this machine here, right? Yeah, we can synthesize neutramine from any five nutrition, as long as it's meat that we've got. So when we get another blood moon, we could just turn werewolves right into the meat that we need to make medicine to make people. <laughs> what would be better still is if we made the medicine out of people. Oh, okay. I, I mean, I might just do that. I might just wait till we get an actual raid turning up and then butcher the raiders instead. Fat Larry, do you ever think that sometimes you really shouldn't do that? A lovely breakfast made of jelly, fish, and berries. <laughs> Given that right now we're just waiting for the raid in that case, let's send General Gerard to get the secret compound. And we've also got a crypto drone hack. If that falls inside the walls, that should be very, very easy for us. Oh, that's a great place for it. Big brain legally. This one's on you, my friend. And that'll bring in a raid anyway. We kill two birds with one stone. Or in this case, kill a dozen demons with one RPG-wielding goblin. <laughs> and as a nice little bonus, we can actually power the fabrication bench if we ever get the damn thing. Shittle. What is the improved computer sensors? Improve on the anomaly sensors of your tactical computer. The improved data provides you with more information to the anomalies. Of course, we can study other successful cults. <laughs> <laughs> this research is recommended for pawns looking to become preachers. So we take that. We go over to the research tab. Turn it off for everybody besides General Joe. And have him working on this instead. Oh. We didn't actually get a raid? Did he just do it that fast? To be fair, he didn't actually stop working. So blowing up my friggin' pipes again? Maybe instead we can just kidnap someone from this ancient complex that we're going to send General Joe to visit. Well, here we are. Hopefully we can find an ancient in here to shred for parts. Or a joy wire. Hey, that's quite good. Okay, fair enough. We've got another one. I haven't installed it yet because... To be honest, I wasn't really sure who to give it to. Obviously, someone's got a brain power, which could work quite well with it. Mechanoids have woken up. Whoops. 
Well, we got 20 gold, so I can't complain. Hello, mechanoids. Oh, there you are. Oh my god, that was close. <laughs> well, would you like to come with General Joe? We need someone with uh, human limbs, in fact. Well, that's one leg down. Well done, Joe. Get in there. Try not to drill the other ones off. Please, just, just knock her down. Just knock her down. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Don't kill her. Joe, this is pathetic. Nice. Okay. How are you looking? Six hours. What's your medical skill there, General Joe? Uh, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, no. Well, I can't believe that actually worked, but I think she's probably going to be... Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're going to have to be fast here, Joe. Uh, arrest. Get her out of there. And then we, want, we, we have to go back for those advanced components. This is high-level Rimworld. You wouldn't understand. Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. High-level Rimworld, remember, General Joe. And then for our final terminal, I will actually bother to hack the comms console. People have been telling me I need to do that more. Oh, not again. <laughs> I don't think she'll burn to death in that one. I say that. It's 150C already. Okay. Ah. Uh, well, let's just swap her back into... That one's 217. Swap her back into here. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> this is horrible. Luckily, we can just pack the caravan and leave without having to worry about carrying around again. So we're taking the joy wire, the gold, the advanced components, the go juice, and of course, Abercrow, who we're going to borrow her bones. I think Robert Mummy is going to be ecstatic to learn that we can start our kind of horrible project. The big question is, have we actually researched hospital beds yet? Or are we going to have to do this on the floor? Oh, dear. Uh... <laughs> we don't have sterile materials. We don't have any sort of surgical equipment, tools, outfits. We may have a surgical mask, though. Hang on. Uh, oh, dear. Doc. Oh, God. Scrub. Nothing. Well, I mean, she's ready. <laughs> why have I not? Well, I can tell you why I haven't. Is because I haven't thought about it yet. Why not just put a wall around this and put some coolers in there? Because these poor people are working in 63 degree temperature and... I mean, we can quite literally prevent that whenever we want. So I think I'll also expand out a little area here so that we can store the organs somewhere where they're safe and away from Fat Larry. The man has a horrifying appetite and it's going to be quite difficult to get a replacement in a hurry. This also means I could hook it up to the air conditioning system rather than just having some regular standard coolers. So remind me, what incredibly boring things can we borrow from you today, Kangaroo Abercrow? We could take her... I, I mean, the arms, the legs, the lungs, the kidneys, the eyeballs. They're all very boring things. And then when we've got that, we can butcher her. And I don't think we get the skin that we need from one person. Depends how much of her is left at that point, I suppose. So why don't we just take whatever we can that will that will not kill her. So take our left lung, a left kidney, liver. You can live without a liver. I probably just wouldn't recommend it, at least for a while. We'll take both the eyes. We'll take we don't we don't need ears. You can keep your ears. I mean we could keep them as spares. Sure, why not? Um I need your jaw. We don't need your tongue. Uh shoulder versus arms? Doesn't make any difference. Or do I want to mutilate her face with acid? <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, that escalated quickly. I think I accidentally wrote down that we take the stomach from Shittle and not Fat Larry. That doesn't make any damn sense at all. And much better. There we go. So if we finish her off by taking, say, another lung, then after that butcher her, we've got pretty much everything we need at that point. Then we're going to have to trade a few lives of our celestials away to get the the important parts. But I want to get the important parts for our important people. Uh, oh, hello, Ash Slave. You fought with you brown barrel cactus? <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> Turns out you can't even take their organs. Psychoid leaves. If we take a few of those, I think we can probably extract seeds from them, right? Let's take a few more of that. Oh, I don't need to take that many, thanks. We haven't really got that much money. Um, We will hang on to that for the timing, all of the arcane gems and stuff. We might be able to do something with that. Do we want any of these? Cabbages? Firevine trees we've already got. I, I suppose I'll take a few cabbages. What on earth is a Keening Cordax? Genetic engineered seeds capable of thriving over a wide range of alien environments. Sure, that sounds fun. I'm not going to buy any dribbling cap because if I wanted dribbling cap, I'd just speak to Arcadius. <laughs> just take, just take, take my things and get out of here. So one thing I did buy from that was a fair amount of medicine just so that we could actually 
stand a chance of collecting these organs. Well, that would just about do the trick. I'm a little bit concerned that we have the option to break her jaw when she doesn't have a jaw. <laughs> An extra brand of cruelty when you reinstall it and then shatter it immediately. And for some reason, we have the option to harvest the left shoulder, but not harvest the right shoulder. I thought there might have been some damage to it, but it seems fine. The only option we've got for the right shoulder... Now, again, look, I'm no surgeon here. Uh, I have no idea whether this is correct or not. The only option we have is to hack it off. Given that's all we can do to it, that's exactly what I'm going to do to it. Oh, okay. It didn't give us an arm. It gave us nine human leather and some meat, which we do need. All right, what's left? <laughs> no, I believe taking anything else will kill her. It would be better at this point to... Wait, amputate left shot. What? Maybe it just hasn't updated yet. Oh, I assume it just hasn't updated, right? Yeah, there we go. Um, we take liver, right kidney, right lung, heart, stomach, spine. All of those I want to take from our seven other sins, just because I think that will... I think that will be fairly appropriate, really, for them to all contribute something. I was a little bit distracted there by the fact that I saw the option to build them a new tail, which we're not going to be doing. I guess we'll just... Finish the job then? Uh, euthanize, and then... I'm not wasting a medicine. And then we'll uh, hand her over to Larry to gather the other parts from. And I mean, look, we only need another 31 human leather. We've got the human meat that we need. The bones we can replace with any bones. Ideally human bones. Then all we need is what? Like a, a leg and an arm, and then the main components that would have killed her. So we'll have to very slowly rotate person to person and take a piece. I don't want to take it all at once because if we get afraid, then we'll die. I mean, they'll already be dead. We'll we'll double die. 35 bones. Oh, damn. We need a little bit more for that. I'll have to stop them using bones for... Where are you taking... Are you putting it over in the special freezer? Okay, that's okay. That means that all we need now is the remainder of the bones, the other leg, the other arm, the other lung, the other kidney. I've put a half line through those just to... We've got the Lu and the kid. Now we need the Nung and the knee. And then the spine, the brain, the heart, the stomach, the liver, the nose. Uh, so I suppose we'll gather the... Who's not doing much right now? I think Arcadius probably isn't doing a huge amount right now because we haven't got any big crafting jobs because we don't have a fucking fabrication bench to reiterate. So poor little Arcadius, my friend. Your time is up. Give me the finest... Arcadian heart. Then when we've done that, we'll lock the door in his bedroom, we'll put the coolers down to freezing, and then we'll just wait for him to come back. Arcadius, this is final words to Robo Mummy, is saying, I'm not saying I'd hate you, but I'd unplug your life support to charge my batteries. Which is very ironic, given that she, the robot, is about to unplug his life support. Goodbye, Arcadius. Let's get the heart out of there, and then let's immediately lock the doors. May also have to throw down a couple of other coolers, because I don't think that'll be enough to actually keep him on ice. I should also point out this is probably going to upset our people a little bit if we're harvesting our people's own organs and killing them dead. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also doesn't make sense that she's happy about harvesting the organs, but not happy that she harvested the organs. Oh, that's an idea. What if we use radiology to blast the new sin with random bouts of radiation in the hopes they get some useful mutations? That could be good. And by good, I mean horrifying and Potentially deadly, but it'll be interesting. Ah, oh, there we go. Another new quest. The Village Silicon. It's a shame, because this would have been the perfect quest for Arcadius. General Joe, pack your things. Well, it's like quite genuinely the tile over. <laughs> this does seem far more on brand for General Joe, turning up at a local village with your heavy ordnance and blowing them to smithereens. Oh, hello, Worshipful Village. It's your good friend, General Joe. Nice to meet you all. General Joe, please... Kill them all. Oh, this is this is bullying. <laughs> this is this is 100 percent bullying. This man is unkillable. Oh, or not. Look, they have a table made out of bloodstone. That makes them monsters. No innocent people would build their kitchen furniture out of their enemies. We've actually got it. At long last. Multi-analyzers for 8,000. Research people multiplied by 50% because we're Neolithic. Right. So because we've done so little research. We apparently still count as cavemen. You can tell we're cavemen by the fact that we have advanced research tools. You know, solar panels, a fucking LCD TV with an Xbox 360. You know, like what cavemen had. You shit. With shit to land legally on it, though, 
it probably won't take that long reasonably. How are we doing for power right now? We're not doing for power. It's terrible. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have built so many hydroponics. Uh, I did put down two more wind turbines, but they've not put a dent in it at all, have they? And now we haven't got any steel left. Uh. <laughs> uh, something's going to have to be turned off here. Um, what are we not using? I mean, everything in this room should be on standby, though. Wow, where the fuck is all of our power going? Oh, the wall lights are 600 watts each and we have 19 of them. Now, it's just occurred to me it takes them a while to resurrect. So I'm thinking, why not hack up General Joe? Needs to be one of our Celestials, right? So they resurrect and regrow. And I think out of everybody, General Joe is the least useful because we have Mound who's also good at, at planting crops. So I think what we're going to do then is hack General Joe. But I thought if we go back to the fancy graph a little bit, we also need the other like the arm, the lung and the kidney, right? So we could take those from General Joe first, then take his spine. Then he'll resurrect with all of them back together. That way we're only missing a little bit more and we're, we're good to go. That's all the main limbs dealt with anyway. We might as well embrace all the negative moods in one fell swoop. It's a big gamble because if we get a raid turning up now, we could be in a little bit of trouble. So I've queued up the leg arm, lung, and kidney. When those have gone through successfully, then we'll take the spine. Otherwise, you might mess something up and then kill him without gaining the other limb. I'm sorry, General Joe. This is a necessary evil. Well, actually, no, it's not. It's a completely unnecessary evil, but I'm curious. And she's got 16.25 medical. I wouldn't expect her to fail any of these. And finally, a spine. Oh, it didn't kill him. Oh, I was really expecting it to kill him, given that his spine is, well, arguably fairly important. Um... But what do we do now? <laughs> we just leave him there, I suppose. Well, I for one can't believe how straightforward it is to build another human being. <laughs> so all we need is a brain, a stomach, a liver, and a nose. I don't think that the stomach or the liver or the nose will kill you. Fairly certain a brain. Fairly certain you can't survive without that. Although some of the comments on these series might suggest otherwise. So we're going to borrow Fat Larry's stomach. Fat Larry is currently pigging out, so maybe we'll give it five minutes. Chittle? Oh, Shittle's not doing anything. Shittle, I need your liver. I assume it'll just regrow. You can survive without a liver. I mean, you can't, but you can survive without most of a liver. What if we just take the majority of it? The rest will regrow because he's celestial. I do sometimes really think I miss my calling as a surgeon. What the hell was even that? Hello? A local Will-O-Wisp has gone mad. Right? Oh, you can take a liver. And that's just going to grow back, right? Regrow regrowing. Yeah, we're fine. 10% efficiency. So she took 90% of it and he's good. So now we need to borrow Remus's nose. And I thought given that he's like raised by wolves, he's probably got an acute sense of smell. Give me your nose. Do you want to cut nose off or harvest nose? Oh, no. I mean, oh, nose. <laughs> Fuck. I messed that up. That's a funny looking dryad. Hello? Poor little Remus has no nose. How does he smell? Terrible. <laughs> I'm not sorry. So now I need Fat Larry's stomach. We're going to have to wait for him to stop being a little bitch. I don't think, again, the stomach will kill him. And if it does at that point, all I can do is apologize to Nugget. It's also only just hit me that Fat Larry's wife is named after a type of food. Combat music? Was it the Will-O-Wisp? Uh, oh, that's a funny looking Will-O-Wisp. They're trying to light a, a fire on fire. <laughs> Wow, this is the worst fight I think I've ever seen in Rimworld. Nature. Ah, oh, nature. Oh, they actually killed it? What did they do? Oh, you can't slice it apart with a plasma cutter. That's not fair. Okay, no pressure, Shittle, but there's a mechanoid right there, my friend. Yeah, you better run. <laughs> okay, 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 Shittle. Shittle, Shittle, Shittle. Oh! Okay, shoot it. Oh, hang on. Rolling gun. Shoot the, shoot the mechanoid. Don't you run away. Oh, damn it. We just have to avoid it while he's reloading. And then whenever it runs away. Oh, what a hit. That is a big downside to Shittle's rocket launcher. It does take him a little while to get the damn thing reloaded. He's only got small arms. Hello, flame bots. Oh, dear. <laughs> You're not seriously firing at that range. Incredible. Absolutely superb. He doesn't care. He's beyond caring. Brilliant. Well, that'll teach the mechanoids not to come back. 
Does it say small wheel? Is that how they operate? Horrible little flamey roller skates. I never really considered that before. Oh, God. Everybody's losing their minds. It's for a good cause, I promise. It's been almost five days now, and Arcadius is still dead as fuck. <laughs> um, I, I don't know if he's coming back. Intestinal failure? What would you get intestinal failure from... Taking your heart out. <laughs> Missing body parts minus 7.7%. What? Is it because he has more body parts than a regular person would have anyway? Like the love enhancer and the gifts of Hercene or, or something like that. He's at 107% strength even with his heart missing. <laughs> we have enough problems right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I was about to say we have enough problems right now without a psychic human to beating everybody down. Extreme break risk times three. Then we got two more major and two more minor. I thought, clearing this thing, that's just common sense. I wasn't expecting to fight mythical creatures when I got here. Okay, you are going to have to run and gun because you're too shit at this. Oh, what is that they can do? Okay. Maybe kill it faster? No pressure? Bit more distance, maybe? Okay, I mean, that'll do it. We can put this in the research lab. We've already got one by the quarry, right? God, I hope I didn't accidentally dismantle it. Either way, I'll take the free Psychic Emanator. I mean, free if you don't include the amount of beatings everybody was given one another and the amount of things that got smashed up. Arguably very much not free. It concerns me that it thinks I don't have any arms or spines or stomachs. Well, we'll worry about that. Hello? <gasps> what is that? Oh my god! Hello? Uh, shit. Oh my god, Chaos Spawn? Chaos Warhounds? Ancient Chaos Spawn? Oh no! <laughs> this is the first time the Silent Raid has legitimately caught me out. Oh, you shit. Okay, uh, right. Let's come over here. If we can kill that Chaos Spawn fast. No pressure. Nice, good work, good work. Oh, God. We are getting overrun so fucking quick. Wow, they move so bloody fast. Please don't shoot the wind turbines. Chittle, that was an insanely good shot. I cannot be mad. That one was not so much. Oh, mound. Didn't even get a chance to shine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fucked. Silent Raids, how day. Oh my god, they can't hit them. They're so bloody fast. Okay, squad, 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 squad. Squad, get down here. Hide over the lava or something. Oh, knock it. Oh, shit. Legally got hit, but it's actually fine. Things are on fire. That's okay. It's just General Joe's entire dryad garden. Don't worry about it. Nugget. Oh, my fucking wind turbines. What are you talking about? No, 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 no. Ship landed frigate. The mechanism is close to obtaining critical mass before they receive a hardware upgrade. So if we don't stop them now, they're going to be permanently way harder. Brilliant. Okay. Um. Oh, mound. I can't believe it. Of all the people to die, the mound is the one I was the least attached to. Bone of my nugget is Fat Larry's wife now, fiance. Romulus is... Oh, God. Okay. Romulus is Remus' his brother. I mean, I think you knew that already, though. The biggest loss of all is the fucking power grid. Okay, we got more coming in this side. Chaos Warhounds and two Tusk Gores. Okay, Nugget, get out of there. Get very far away. Kill it. Bring it down, Shittle. Okay, one more. Oh, fuck. Arcadius is gonna defrost. Get to work. Fast as we can. Let's rebuild Arcadius. Maybe. Here's a thought. Maybe Arcadius isn't resurrecting because I put him on ice. 6.6 .6 days. My fucking rice. <gasps> Arcadius is back. Hello. Oh, that was great timing. Thank you. Get him rescued. It's going to take a while before he's back upon his feet, though, I think. To be honest, I don't know what's going on anymore. <laughs> the fucking chaos raid really, really caught me out. We don't have any turrets, do we? We have nothing still. I'm going to draft up just anybody good at building right now to try and get us back on our feet as soon as possible. Oh. 
No, 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 no. Maybe we just roll over and let the bugs devour us at this point. I think we should just give up. Sometimes life is worth living, and sometimes it well and truly isn't. I'm gonna get in trouble on YouTube for saying that. <laughs> you know, I don't even think Shizzle's rocket launcher can save us here. Uh, let's just keep slowly backing off. And then slowly pushing forward because I'm very indecisive. And then we'll slowly back off again. And then I'll inevitably complain when we're all horribly devoured. Actually, we're doing fine. We're doing okay. Insects do not like explosives. Well, so much for getting the power grid solved. <laughs> God, I, I, I could have played a different game. You can't keep doing this to me. Someone in Discord yesterday had the fucking gall. The indecency to say, oh, they're not suffering enough now that he's taken out Yeo's planet. Look at this place. How did you even get... You're not going to make me grenade. No, 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 I refuse. I'm not grenading our oil drums. It's all I've got left. It doesn't matter. It's done it for me. Are you absolute anus? Stay back. Stay back. No, no, no. no. What? She's giving him a fucking piggyback. Get out of there. If we act fast, maybe we can save 2,600 litres of oil. Um, this strikes me as quite dangerous. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, shit. You can save that one. We can save that one. We can't save it. Oh, fuck me. Larry. What well, oh, fucking get away from it? Do you not? Oh. <laughs> we have suffered we have suffered for our sins that's it can we go now we're ready to leave the hell planet if that's okay i take it back i'm sorry i'm sorry for what i did in these series i'm sorry oh the fucking grove oh the dryer grove okay genuinely please go and put that out I'm never... Uh, uh. I'm in awe. I'm in awe. Have you two... They just stopped to have a conversation. Not get quipped about pet peeves with Fat Larry. My fucking pet peeves are idiots who stand around having a, a, a jolly good laugh when the base is burning down. This could not be going any worse. I just wanted to build a person out of the limbs of other people. Instead, all of our plants are dead. Oh my god, I hope we've... We've still got cotton seeds. Oh. Okay. Okay. That could have been a disaster. Oh, what about the rice? Did we get a rice harvest in? Oh, we got plenty of rice. We're okay. All of the plants are dead. The power is offline. There's no water. There's no toilets. There's no hot showers. There's nothing right now. Do we have food? We have food, assuming what they want to eat is raw rice. We've got 33 meals. I don't know if we'll be able to get back online before those are eaten. I would build a turret. I'd build a defense. I really would. I, I can't. I cannot incapable i think honestly this was this was ambitious i think we need to break over the whole fucking thing again and just force them to come through here a uh, nightmare is that spying gal walking away with my things no no we don't have somebody capable of building these walls back up right now i'm sorry spined gal there's only one way i can can we okay we can't take the items off of it then perish I'm sorry, I had to do it. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. <gasps> Please. Please just fucking make it end. Stand down, Nugget. Stand down. Whose ring is that? Ring of the Pathfinder? This ring is enchanted with the essence of wood. That's, uh, that's a different type of ring entirely. Pass me my ring of wood. <laughs> Something... Something Arcadius. Maybe if we had a ring of wood, Arcadius' base wouldn't keep falling down. <laughs> That's it. We're done. We're done for today. I can't take any more. I was expecting so much fucking progress. And we're going to make Fat Larry a wizard. Oh, we'll research multi-analyzers. Backwards progress. All I've got is a fucking freezer full of organs. I would be polite and say thank you for watching, but you know what? No. If you've enjoyed this episode, you're a monster. You're a monster who wants to watch me die 10 years earlier. But thank you for watching nonetheless. What a fun day it's been. And tomorrow, 
We'll do it all over again, and then I'll have a breakdown. Thank you to Dr. Hunk, Black Onyx, Chris, Dirty Mike and the Boys, Jackal31 Bravo, Tom Patch, Pancake65, Carmen Copeland, Smack You, Lion666, Fizzle Buns, Shadow1317, Scary Scurvy, Gammon Jude, MJ, Killer Clown, Night Rouge, Psycho Fire, El Zilcho, and Scaps for today for being executive producers over at Patreon. Thank you for making the channel possible. Thank you as well to Astro Boogie, Pumbly, The Other 18, Covert Elite IMP, Ever Vigilant One, Railing Gar, Super Nanny 089, Chicken Robo, Lego Red Dragon, Justice for Alia, Oz, Wizard of, Lively Life, Ian Geo, Jackson P, Empty Machine, Icy the Great, Victor Rays, Punky Roo, Amanda, and Shaktolsky as well. I need to lie down for maybe a month. 